Yo, what's up? We are now at Circle K. You guys know the drill, 1000 km challenge. Hey, let me overexpose it a little bit. With Polestar 2, finally we will settle this. How fast is it? According to my calculations, I estimate... Oh, that's sick parking there, bro. Yeah. I estimate uh, 11 hours. So uh, we have been charged now to 100%. I'll just show you here. And the plan is to take the Norway route. Yeah. And I set up everything. Live stream is good to go. And I can show you if you go to here, maps. We will start exactly at seven. This is a bit weird. Why did we start at seven? Because it's a weekday and I have to return this car tomorrow already. So that's why we will drive here to Svinesund and back again. And then we drive this route and then back again. And then we drive the north. And then we have to drive a little bit back and forth. And then we end up here. And that would be 1000 kilometers. I will not drive through Sweden because of Corona. So uh, in four, uh, in six minutes, we will start. Live stream is up and running. I even bought some candies this time to stay awake. I have Red Bull in the front. It will be kind of cold outside, so it will stay cold. We might have to pop the Red Bull eventually. And the battery is still charging. We're getting 16, well, how many? kilometers per hour this is probably about three kilowatt or something three four kilowatt yeah all right we are now on the run we've been driving about an hour we just passed Seipsborg so uh, yeah so far so good uh, what's the time now is it it's eight in the evening yeah and it's getting dark consumption is not too crazy 236 but we have tailwind so so far so good. You see that summer is definitely over. Eight and it's getting dim already. So we will drive another, uh, let me see, uh, another, uh, I don't remember. I think around 15 more kilometers. Then we turn around at Schweinzum and go back again to Oslo. We are now at Soko K, Lier. I'm juicing up now here. So I could, well, first I consider using the, the, the Delta charge over there, but that one is old. And there's a sticker there saying maximum 90 kilowatt on the Giro Talk. So we use this one, ABB chargers. Now they don't show you charging speed, but we can see on the screen and the car, calculated based on the car that it should be around uh, 100, well, we peaked at 130. So here you guys see the sub, I mean the Volvo, I mean the Polestar. Again, good parking from me because, yeah, you see, charge port is here, what do you expect? And then the, the charge is placed right behind it. And then also, yeah, so we just have to park like this. But so far, we're getting decent speed. You know, you can take, if you wait for the 12 minute mark here, then you can take whatever kilowatt hour delivered times five. And you see that we have more than 100 kilowatt right now. So that's pretty decent speed. Um, next stop might be Shell Grellan. The plan now is that we will drive, I already calculated based on the consumption now that we will probably drive 180 kilometers before we stop next time. We want to minimize the stops. So the plan is to drive all the way here and then back and then stop at Shell Grellan, which is here, here. And that is 180 kilometers. All right, and you see here, this is a bit cryptic because it shows you charging speed in kilometers per hour, but I worked out that the, it's gum based. So uh, it probably takes the, the consumption we had in the past, 245 or something. You take 245, multiply by 479, and you get 110 something, 110, 120 kilowatt, 110 maybe. Yeah, so, so far so good. 
but we are going to charge to 80% because there's two strategies. We could charge to 50%, but then we have to, we have to charge more often. But I worked out that uh, the best deal is to charge to 80%. It's slightly slower, but then we have lower risk because then we don't have to stop too often. Now getting close to the turnaround point. This is right before Langgangen. Yeah. And now we will exit in 2.2 kilometers and then head north again. This is the plan. So far we have, well, I can show you guys here. Consumption is 256. Let me adjust a little bit down. There, there, there. 256. Yeah. We've been, now this is uh, the four hour mark. It's now 11. Wait, can we see the clock here? No, we don't see the clock here. Okay. Yeah. So, so far so good. Soon, yeah, there you go, that's the exit. Okay guys, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna show you what happens now. We take this one, we plug it in, all the way in. This is probably more than 10 times I tried this. Use this, the car is on, I have the door cracked open. Every time I try, it will fail. We have lost almost 10 minutes here, trying. And this, the same thing happened, if you watched the earlier video, this happened also at, uh, you see, it failed handshake. It seems to be a problem with uh, Polestar versus Delta chargers. So we have to subtract 10 minutes. We have to go to Circle K over there and charge there instead. We give up here. Yeah. Uh, put it back. Okay, we moved over to Circle K. The Grand Contact was over there. You see, first try, plug it in the same way, show RFID, we are charging. <laughs> so there's obviously something wrong. And I, I ask on the Norwegian uh, Polestar uh, group, other people have experienced the exact same thing with Delta chargers. We're going to talk to, they use Delta chargers. Delta chargers, um, I would say Polestar has problem with handshake against Delta chargers because against Tritium and ABB and the other chargers, no problemo. Yeah, all right, so we're good. Now we're gonna stay here for another 35 minutes. Oh, look at that speed, yeah. And then I guess it's restroom time again. Okay, I went to the restroom and also a nice gentleman showed up. He bought some food for me, <laughs> but look this, okay, okay. Uh, I forgot to catch it in the camera. The charging speed dropped to only two kilowatt and then it went up again. So this is weird. Um, the cable is water cool. I can feel the vibration. And usually these chargers uh, are not troublesome. I've been using them a lot. Uh, we might have to move over to this one if there's a problem with this. We will check again. If it drops again, we move, but it already, according to the live stream, it already dropped twice or something. This is weird. And we actually, we don't know if it happened earlier with the ABB charger, because with the ABB charger, actually, I think, I think it didn't, because you see this one uh, previously in the ABB charger, we didn't have this screen, but if it dropped, you will see it here. And we were watching the kilometers per hour and it didn't drop earlier. So this is weird. What did, did, did it happen again? You see, five kilowatt. Huh? What is this shit? Let's move.
we are north of Gardermoor now. It's uh, getting close to two at night. Uh, we've passed Oslo quite fast. There was a little bit of uh, maintenance work over there, but no left lane huggers. Very important. And this is an, what the new stretch. They have finally opened this stretch now. Oh, look at this. 110 stone. Woohoo! We can cruise at 110 there. Yeah, finally. No detour. So you see consumption is high, 262 watt hour per kilometer. We are of course not cruising at 110 when I'm not shooting the video. I'm cruising faster. But every time I shoot the video, I will just slow down because we have so many keyboard warriors. <laughs> but okay, anyway, so I still have to drive a little bit more before I'm down to 5%, uh, yeah. But I want to end up at, um, at Ionity Dal this time. We are now at Minnesun Circle K and seriously guys, I didn't have time to shoot video because I needed to do it quick. First I tried the 150 kilowatt over there. It failed handshake at least two or three times. Then I move over to, uh, no, no, I for, first I tried that charger. Yeah. And then I move over to this charger and it failed at least five times. And now I moved here and it failed a couple of times and then handshake works. I don't know what's up with the Polestar, but it seems to fail a lot on handshake. So we've lost another four minutes here. At least four minutes with fail handshake. It works now, but I will show you that we're supposed to get 120, 130 kilowatts, but it's been a little bit unstable. And you're thinking, yeah, but well, you can just change stall. Well, if I change to that one, the last one, the last 150 kilowatt, these are, the, uh, these are just regular 50 kilowatt. Then I might also uh, waste time with the handshake again. So, I mean, it comes to the point where I start wondering how much time are we supposed to subtract? We, we, are, we already subtracted 15 minutes now at least. And are we supposed to subtract half an hour eventually just to get this thing going to 1000 kilometer? It seems like I'm driving a beta version of the software but it's not only handshake that doesn't work. There are other, other stuff in the car that you can't, it doesn't work now, like Android Auto, was it? Or, uh, no, Android, Android Auto works, but the CarPlay doesn't work, of course. Out, Android works. But um, uh, also, um, you can't play USB music yet via USB stick. It comes, it will come later. And now here, I don't know if it was a problem with the charger or, or the car last time, but I want to get over to Ionity because Ionity chargers are usually very stable. So we will try to get over to Ionity. At least if it's stable there, then it's fine. If it's not stable at Ionity, then we have to start blaming the car. So, all right, as usual, we'll charge here to 80%. That will take another 25 minutes. And maybe I should clean the windscreen. No, I don't, I don't, I don't. We are on the run again, and uh, now we're getting close to Stange. And seriously, guys, you have to see this. Consumption for the total of the trip is now 269 watt hour per kilometer. It means that the current consumption now at night might be almost 300. That's insanely high. It's six degrees Celsius outside and a little bit windy. We actually we have tailwind right now, so. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot uh, reset a part trip. If I reset this one, it would be kind of, yeah. Actually, if I did this, close menu, no, 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 what, what? Okay, whatever, let's not mess around with this. But I'm gonna show you something cool. See, it's uh, 3.14 at night. You know, you have Google, this is Google based. So uh, I want to know when the sun is up because it's night now. Hey, Google. When is sunrise in Oslo? In Oslo today, the sun will rise at 6.50 a.m. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey Google, can you change voice? Here's an example of one of my other voices. Would you like me to use this one? No. Okay, if you want to hear more voice options, you can find them in Google Assistant settings on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> you can use lots of, you can do lots of stuff here with Google. Uh, uh, for example, hey Google, how old is Elon Musk? 
Elon Musk is 49 years old. <laughs> hey Google, tell me a joke. My friend bet me 100 pounds that I couldn't build a car out of spaghetti. You should have seen the look on her face as I drove past her. <laughs> oh shit, sure. you could keep me uh, amused then. <laughs> Oh, we are now at almost 800 kilometers and we are here in familiar ground, Ionity. I wanted to see if it was good here and it seems to be good. So um, we need two more charging stops. We can't do it in one because then we had to push past 200 kilometers. We had to charge over 80%. That will take too long. So we might as well stop two more times. And that means that now I only need to charge to 50%. And then the next time I will charge to about 60, 70%. I don't know, but the way, the way it works with a charging curve, then that's the best way to do it. But let me show you here. Oh yeah, now we're cooking. <laughs> Ionity always deliver. We are getting premium electricity here. <laughs> but I found out something. You see here the angle of the charge port? It also failed here the first time with, char uh, with the handshake. But what I did was that once it did the handshake, then I pushed this towards the car, just like I do with e-tron. And then it worked when I pushed it. So maybe that's a trick to do it with the other uh, chargers we just happened to use. And also, you know, this right here, kind of hard to show you, but it might, the ground might be sloping a little bit the wrong way so maybe it was a coincidence that some other places if if the slope is correct then the handshake will will work always and if you use those 50 kilowatt fast charger the plug is much lighter and then it will connect properly you know but here we have a big fat cable the weight is a little bit down here so i should try more it's just <laughs> Silly me, I should have figured it out. Maybe you just have to do it like this. Push it towards the, the, the car while it's doing the handshake. Once it starts charging, then you don't have to push it anymore. And the same problem appear, uh, appears with uh, I, um, e tron also. Yeah. But oof, it's quite windy over here. It's windy, it's cold. I need a little bit of food. I want to go to the restroom, clean the windscreen, and so on. Ooh, yeah. What the heck? It's not supposed to throttle this early. We're supposed to get 84 kilowatt at 50%. Now it seems like it throttles. I also noticed, by the way, previous charging session. It seems to throttle a bit early. Seems like, I mean, this car has active cooling, but it could be that it starts. I mean, it gets exhausted after a long day. Hmm. This is it, the last charging stop. We have done almost 900 kilometers. So we need to drive 105 more kilometers. It's six in the morning now. And you see, it's getting kind of bright outside. We've been on the road now for um, almost 11 hours. Well, actually it's, it's 10 hours and 40 minutes. I've decided to subtract 20 minutes because of some charging problems. But I tried this time to this is a tip to all the Polestar owners. Um, high power charger cables, they seem to be heavy. So every time you do the handshake, when the handshake happens, you push it towards it. It seems to help. 
I should have done that earlier, but okay. Uh, what I've seen now is that the car, uh, the battery seems to throttle earlier than before. Usually 84 kilowatt should happen at 50%. Now it happens at 38 kilowatt. It happened the same, same thing previous charging session. And you might be saying, well, there's something wrong with this charger. You should have tried another charger. No, these chargers are very consistent. They always deliver. When I try e-tron or Tesla or Taycan or other cars that have good BMS and good battery, they don't throttle. This one seems to be exhausted. You know, it's almost like you have supercharged. I mean, you have fast charged so many times now that the BMS is like, oh, we have enough now. We're gonna throttle a little bit early. Yeah, it might mean that I'm losing one, one or two minutes on each char charging stop now. So in the end, it will not matter too much. We're talking about maybe five, five, ten minutes slower overall. But if you if you look at my charging video, you will see that it's supposed we are supposed to get hundred kilowatt until fifty percent. So all right, anyway, we are about to leave now. We will leave at around fifty-ish percent. Yeah. All right, we are on the move now. Oh, the final run. The time is 6.07. We're getting close to the 11 hour mark and we just passed 900 kilometers. So this is it. Uh, but um, by the way, we have some traffic here. Already six in the morning. So we have decided to drive to uh, whatever place, north, and then go back to Ionity. Because if we go further south, to um, uh, Furusat, we would get stuck in traffic before that time. So, yeah. Wow, sunrise. I rarely see that sunrise. <laughs> oh, okay, let's go for it. Right, we're gonna do the countdown. 995, a little bit late here. 996. 997. 999. Not paying attention. 999, 1000. <laughs> 1000 there. What is the time? 656. So that means. Um, 11 hours and 36 minutes yeah 11 hours and 36 minutes oh let's get over there i was a bit late because there was some traffic and the truck I had to pass we are finally done and just one last time i plugged in and i held it i pushed the cable towards the car when i did the handshake and it worked 100 percent so you know what we subtracted 20 minutes and it was supposed to be 11 hours and 35 minutes but i'm going to run it down to 11 and a half because i believe that if i knew about this problem if also other people know about this problem all you have to do is just push it a little bit and then you won't have any problem in handshake because i lost lots of time with the handshake failure now it just works now i've i also estimated that it would take 11 hours only but it took more it was this car was pretty thirsty at high speed so that's oh, some insect here but that's yeah that's the problem i guess because it looks like a fossil this grill and all that and it's kind of squared so it's not the best aerodynamics and you show we see it here but you also saw that this car had a little bit of throttle problems in the second half there's, a, there's an insect here the second half, this car had a little throttle problem or something about the charging speed. N slower than uh, when I did the perfect run when, when I recorded the video. So I don't know why, but yeah, oh, I'm pretty exhausted. So that's it then. I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.